Ricardo, I'm going to turn to you. Um, tell us who you are and where you come from. My name is Ricardo Burigana. I am from uh, Florence. I am professor of ecumenism with a background in church history, professor at the Faculty of uh, Theology of Florence. At the same time, I am the director of the Centro Studi per l'Ecumenismo in Italia. The Centro Studi per l'Ecumenismo promoted many projects of historic and theological research, among them, uh, among which uh, uh, there is one special project for the reduction of a bibliography on ecumenism. So, Ricardo, you introduced yourself and you told us about this bibliography you've been working on, and this fascinates me. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the bibliography. A bibliography wants to be a tool um, for explaining, not only to the students or scholars or researchers, how global is the um, production on ecumenism and for ecumenism. Uh, I uh, receive a support of some students uh, and the bibliography edited by myself and, my, and by one of my students, Alex, Alex Talarico, and we worked uh, at least uh, one day a week on it because we uh, decided to have uh, an uh, update uh, monthly. Okay. And uh, the new titles uh, are in the different colors. And uh, you can download free the bibliography from the website of the Centro Studi per l'Ecumenismo in Italia. We will share that link with the, the viewers. Um, what if I am interested in a specific topic, if I'm interested in gender and the church? You, you can do a research inside uh, because it's an alphabetical uh, uh, thai, alphabetical order, and uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, in uh, each uh, uh, update uh, always the list of a journal which uh, we saw uh, for uh, um, reduction of a bibliography. And uh, of course, uh, is a bibliography to be completed, uh, to be corrected, but uh, uh, if I can, uh, I would like uh, to share one of the uh, best side of this experience. I receive a monthly observation, uh, suggestion, and sometimes also correction from different scholars, not only in Italy, uh, because uh, uh, the bibliography is going to be a tool to be shared, to be corrected, to build all together. It has two editors, because uh, we should uh, uh, we should uh, have clear that there is some in charge of it, uh, but it's uh, an ecumenical work. Everyone can suggest, correct, uh, and also to do some proposal to change something in the list of the journals and also in the criteria to be adopted uh, to draft, to, the, to be this kind of a bibliography. What was the most exciting feedback you received? I, the, the most excited is, uh, is, uh, is uh, a long email of a very young student, uh, not in Italy. He found it uh, in the web, and uh, he, she, she, she was able to do a research, even without library, even without direct access to this kind of a journal. Because she told us that she consulted the bibliography, did a short list of the titles, she writes, she wrote to many scholars, and they send to her the article, of course, sometimes without the rights of editorial laws, and she was able to do a short research, but for, for master, she was in, in a master, she was a, a, good, a good tool, and, she, and it helped her to finish her studies. Ricardo, thank you for this important work you are doing, and thank you for sharing with us today.